Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on down. Praise God tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you hear me out there, praise God. Come on down. Make your way to the tent. Praise God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. It's almost time. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Make your way down to the tent. Praise God. All you campers. Praise God. Service time. Amen. Start making your way down. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's all stand tonight. Amen. Praise God. We'll open up tonight's service. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome to Seneca Camp Meeting. Praise God. 2023. Amen. If you have any prayer requests out there, amen, let it be known unto the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Any prayer requests out there? Amen. For our sister, praise God. Family, salvation. Any more out there? Amen. The Jones family, praise God. And B-Town, hallelujah. Amen. Any more prayer out there? Hallelujah. Amen. Family, brothers, family. Praise God. Amen. There's no more. Praise God. Let's go before the Lord tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you keep your hands, Lord, upon all these prayers, Lord Jesus, Lord, our sister Joey, Lord, sister Jones, Lord, our brother, Lord, the family, the salvation, Lord Jesus, that they need, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, bless them, Lord Jesus, mighty being, wherever they may be, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you cover them with their precious blood, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, tonight, Lord Jesus, that you touch every chair, Lord Jesus, touch every vehicle right now, Lord. Lord, cover them with their precious blood, Lord Jesus, Lord, you bless all the campers that are down there, Lord Jesus, Lord. Bless them in the vehicle, Lord Jesus. Jesus, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you touch every man, woman, and child, Lord, all the way from the north to the east to the south, the west of me right now, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, tonight, Lord, we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, Lord Jesus, Lord. Tonight, we lift the service to you, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, that you keep your hands upon the testimony service, Lord Jesus, Lord. Upon all the songs, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, everybody who travels, Lord, from near and far, Lord Jesus, Lord, all the way from Bilas, Lord Jesus, St. Carlos, Lord, from the valley, Lord Jesus, Wyver, Civic Hill, Lord. But now the whole land, Lord Jesus, where everybody comes from, Lord Jesus, or whatever church denomination, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, you give them traveling grace and mercy, Lord. Lord, we give you the praise, Lord, for another night of service, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, for 23 days, Lord, a good service right now, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, that you spare your, your anointing upon each and every one of us, Lord, our children, Lord, our loved ones, Lord. Lord, that you keep your hands upon our tribal leaders, Lord Jesus, Lord, for the direction that they can go, Lord Jesus, Lord. Guide them, Lord. The officers, Lord, police officers, the EMTs, the firefighters, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, Lord, all the nurses, Lord, the doctors, Lord, keep them Lord, safe, Lord, on the front lines, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, bless our United States, Lord Jesus, Lord. We ask, Lord Jesus, we don't know what's going to come, Lord Jesus, Lord. But, Lord, we pray that you keep our St. Carlos Apache tribe, praise God, in the palm of your hands, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, we be giving drugs and alcohol, Lord Jesus, upon our land, Lord. The spirit of suicide, Lord Jesus. The spirit of killing, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you save and that you deliver, Lord, right now, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord, that we come into your presence with thanks and thanksgiving right now, Lord, and praise and singing in melodies, Lord Jesus, so we can be uplifted to one another, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, Lord, we call this down in the name, Heavenly Father, Lord. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Somebody shout for Jesus out there, clap your hands, amen, you may be seated. Honk your heart for Jesus Christ out there, hallelujah, praise God. Bless that wonderful name of our Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name that I know. Power in that name of Jesus. Oh, power in that name of Jesus. Oh, power in that name of Jesus. Oh, praise Him, 
Jesus tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen.
Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Somebody shout for Jesus out there. Somebody shout for Jesus. Hold your heart for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. One more song. Praise God. We'll open up for testimony service. If I have that same belief, I believe that you shall be healed in the name of Jesus Christ because we serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's no, no praise there, but would you rather to be, but to be in the house of God tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. But give a hand clap for the Lord tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Come on up. Testify. Amen. Sing for the Lord tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And thank you all you guys being out there in your vehicles. Amen. I want to let you know all the way from the left and south, south to the north. Amen. 
Jesus loves you, amen. You got one whole week. Continue to come each and every night. Claim your healing, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Testify, amen. Brother Nero's coming up, amen. Brother LG, give him a hand. Give him a hand for the Lord tonight. Amen, praise God, amen. Brother Amos, Brother Isaiah, praise God. Get ready after this, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a good time over here in the Sunday car. Praise the Lord. So it's going to stay up. Praise the Lord. So I've been staying over here for since the, the, the time even start. But in July, July 3, you know, you know, I was just working around my tent my, where I'm staying. And all of a sudden my knee got, got weak on me. And it started hurting. I said that uh, it just happened. And <clears throat> I couldn't walk anymore then. Daddy, it was painful. Couldn't walk. So that night, man, I struggled with that pain. Pray about it. I don't know what happened. So next day, uh, you know, July 4th, I was staying over there, just listening to all the music come on. And that afternoon, uh, my wife, and my grandkids, my daughter, I think they kind of bothered bother them that how I, I was. So my wife told me, I want to go to ER at Globe, all right? At Globe, Miami, yeah. I went over there, they took an x-ray on each side. And the doctor told me that you pull one of your ligaments, you pull it, and it's gonna, Trying to tear on this side, just deeper. So they gave me crutches and braces. They put me on too and gave me some medicine. And came back that evening. Man, I feel kind of like a lot better with uh, putting medicine on it. So I know the devil is doing that, praise the Lord. Gina, I tell you what's in. what's in, praise the Lord. Before that, not the tent that old there back in, back in St. Carlos, I heard that. I can't breathe, it's got a tent, I don't care, no. It's kind of got a five stitches to work on this one, the center pole, yeah. He fell on me, and then some of his kids tried to grab him. Somehow he pitched me and put a chunk, not a chunk of meat out. So I had this five stitches, so uh, no, it's better now. Now my leg is getting better, praise the Lord. I know Jesus is doing something, praise the Lord. No matter what the devil is doing, praise the Lord. I do some skins, some of the skins, praise the Lord. I have a good time all these three weeks, four weeks I have been here, praise the Lord. But tonight I'm heading back, so I'm gonna start. Gotta go back to work tomorrow, praise the Lord. Uh, Unified School District, but praise the Lord, being a bus driver, look up. So we got going back, praise the Lord. But I've been coming back and back and forth for the service, praise the Lord. So from stairs, excuse me, what's the praise the Lord. You know, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Forever, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Two or three are gathered together in my name. Praise the Lord. He's in the midst right now. Praise the Lord. All we do is just ask, praise the Lord. And Jesus, there's nothing too hard for him. Right? I want to see it, praise the Lord. Jesus, but can so us do, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good to be here tonight, hallelujah. We just been in the camp a couple nights, you know, just praying, looking up to God. But I'm thankful to be here tonight, to hear the word of God, hallelujah. That's all I came for. You know, Brother Mike was talking about a miracle for um, diabetes. Last year, I was here, we were camping out, and I struggled with that for 13 years. And it's not fun when you take a lot of medicines. <laughs> I was taking close to eight medicines. And, you know, I went by what the doctors tell you and the dietitian. But I prayed. I prayed to God. I gave it all to Him. And, you know, I have faith that He would do a miracle for me. And back in October, 
I went back to the doctor and they took everything off of me. The medicines that I used to take, I don't take that no more. To this day, I haven't gone back to the hospital for anything. You know, I give God the praise. Hallelujah. If he can do it for us, he can do it for you all too. That's why I give God the praise, the glory, and honor every day. Hallelujah. That's one more thing that I'm struggling. I don't tell nobody, but I give it to God. Hallelujah. And I know he's going to touch me again. Hallelujah. But I give him everything. Hallelujah. I always tell my husband, you're my husband, but Jesus is my first love. Hallelujah. And you're my second. I always <laughs> But I thank God, and it's true also because, you know, when you're married, you got to put Jesus first, hallelujah. And it works out, hallelujah, Lord. I want to share songs for the Lord, hallelujah. I like to worship God. I like to give Him praise no matter what, hallelujah. I give Him my all, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, you're the lover of my soul. Jesus, I will never let you go. You're taking me from the miry clay. You set my feet up on that rock. Now I know.
You know, despite what you face in life, hallelujah, look up to God, hallelujah, Lord. He's right there, hallelujah. He's not far, but he's right there, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, and share one more song. You know, one of the ladies asked, sing that song I haven't heard you sing yet. <laughs> so I'm going to share that song, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know, God is here already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. I love you, Lord. Civic Community Church, amen. Brother Isaiah, praise God, Civic Community Church, come up and testify, amen. Amen. How are you thankful tonight, amen? Amen. My Lord, God is awesome, Leah. He has done to bless you, heal you. He has heard your cry when you were on your sick bed, hospital, jailhouse, wherever you were at, maybe on the freeway. My God, you need a help if you call on Jesus, Leah, amen. Jesus, John Deagle, the trust D, amen? My God, I have, a, I have a, just a little, I had a lavish cruise in my ankle, didn't I, from this side? Uh, 
uh, we were framing a wall in Solo and it came crashing down and crushed my bones. And the doctor told me, when you get my young, <laughs> when you get my young, when you get old, you're gonna have bad arthritis. And I just look at him like you're looking at me right now. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Amen. <laughs> hey, I am healed. By his stripes, I am healed tonight. Amen. Man, you are all blessed tonight. Amen. You are healed. Oh, Lord. Whatever you ask, believe me. Amen. It shall happen. It will come to pass. Yeah, amen. And I was sitting there, and then, and then my foot was swollen like a ball for almost three years. And I had lavish bruise and uh, two plates going to my fibula. Yeah, because I was scared. And I was on crutches. And I was on crutches. And then, and then it took almost five years just to go back to its normal, normal hotel on this side. Right? But to this day, I don't have no arthritis, amen? <laughs> I don't have no pain in my ankle. All the screws and the plates are taken out. My Lord, I am healed, amen? Yeah. Uh, before, when the snow real bad, I put on double socks and I can feel the screws in there. Right? And then when I go up there to make what? I can feel it and it hurt and I come back and, and, and from the mountains after making woods I'll build a fire and I put my leg right there and I just to warm it up and I, and I can feel the screws that the, it was painful but after a while I said I don't want them in there and they took they took it out from me the doctor again and, I, and to this day I am healed man that's why I love to run around when the spirit is moving I always say don't wait 38 years he waited 38 years, man, when they moved, man, you won't put me over there, did ya? But, but Jesus said, I did not ask you that tonight. I asked you, what do you want me to do for you, amen? My God, he told him to get up, yeah. <laughs> and he got up and he was healed right there. He wants to heal you tonight, amen? He wants to touch you, he wants to bless you tonight. He wants to come into your house and set your sons, your daughters free, amen? Your household free, your loved ones, yeah. My God, it's nothing hard for Jesus. Yeah, amen. Yeah, nothing hard for the Lord. Last night we were over there in Manulito. Man, I was praying the night before. I said, I want to go to church. I was saying that. And I was sitting in my room and I was reading the Bible. And then out of nowhere, phone ring yesterday morning. I was still chushy like you. <laughs> and, hey, get it, let's go. Where are we going? So I said, like, Where are we going? Just get it. Hurry up. So I'm like, Wait, I'm going to get ready then. Got ready and I just got in and I thought we were gonna cry, honey to cry. Listen, uh, we were the Stayas, Solo, St. John, Zuni Nation. You said, went around to Gallup, all the way there down to uh, Manilito, just to tell Jesus is awesome, amen? He's a healer, he's, he's a deliverer, he can, he can touch, he can use anybody, he can save you, amen? All the way out there in the whole nation, and uh, my spirit moved, my name and my W, everybody was there. Who is this wall of patches? I wish they should let me in. Because Donald Clark, you fell off the platform last night. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. I was all just <laughs> seeing the way. <laughs> hey, we let go, little Donald. But then, uh, man, we had a good time. I'm glad I jumped in. Amen. I'm glad to be here tonight. Amen. Can I uh, encourage you with the word of God? Amen. If you believe God's word, you have to believe you are a very special person, amen? amen. You have to believe you're special, yeah. yeah. Who is mad that thou art mindful of us, yeah, amen? Yeah. And you think about us, yeah. That's how God loves you because you are his precious child tonight, amen? Yeah. Jesus says, you are my friends, amen? Jesus, is your, Jesus says, you are my friends, amen? If you do whatsoever I command you, henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. Yeah, amen. For I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Amen. You, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Is that amen? I have chosen you. Yeah. Yeah, my God. One time, uh, Holy Lake, yeah, when the lake went down, I walked around that lake. I found a lot of spinners, cast masters, they're all rusted. And I put it on Facebook, and I? I found them and I put pictures of it. It's all old and rusted, the hooks fell off. But when I got home, I put it in rust, in a rust, uh, just there. 
line with that Russell mover. C C L R. Yeah, yeah. And then two to four hours. And then after I dried it off, I scrubbed it with the wire brush, cleaned it all up and everything. Took it all apart. And then when I cleaned it, man, it was like brand new, man. I put brand new hooks on there. Just like that, you were lost in the mud. You were lost in the mighty clay. And Jesus went out there and found you. So he picked you up out of that clay. Woo, buff you up, shine you up. Put a new hook on you. Woo. And he also tonight. What's his name? And that your fruit shall remain, that whatsoever you shall ask of my Father in my name, He may give it you. Amen? Woo! John 15, 14 and 16. I love the word. Amen? Oh man, it's good to be here tonight. I'm just glad. I'm just sure tonight. Amen? Just keep, let's keep on praying for one another. Amen? This group should pray for that group. This group for that group. And all of, all of us should pray for you. Up here. Yes, amen? Amen. And we should learn to love one another. Amen. Encourage one another. Yeah, amen. Don't give them a hundred and eleven patchy look. Amen. <laughs> learn to smile. Yeah, amen. Amen. We'll, we'll win them. we we'll win them to Christ. Amen. Those who are lost. Yeah. All because of your love. Amen. And if you care how she stay good with love and you're not too much in league. I got the answer, kiss. Ah, but he is the Lord of Jesus Christ. When the band says, "I need to get to the next level," stand by the top in the air. Jesus Christ has a nine two eight number. It's been a thousand years. Jehovah God, the God Jehovah God, and the Heki, the yet Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ needs to be up. Yeah. I don't Jesus Christ. They go not to hunt on to the guinea. The knife. Yeah. Get out of the car. You understand? Holy Spirit. That's where Jesus is. Through the Holy Spirit. He's sitting at the right hand of God, the Father, on his throne. Yeah. So in the spiritual way, Jesus is here through the Holy Spirit. To each and every one of you. So, I put that 928505 Jehovah Jesus and Holy Spirit. It's Tadi and Jopa, it's always in the bench. And now, Shkai Shabu, Tato Shab, Kehonle, Chachin Boy, Prankis, but brothers and sisters, but that's how you pray, yeah. So, that's what I do. Sometimes you have to use that three numbers. So, that's the direct line. That way you don't say the in God, the in God. A lot of people say the in God, the in God, the in God. You know who? I never would land there for that. Uh, I don't know why. A small d, small y to me. The in God. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah. The in God, Jesus Christ. Well, yeah. It's not in me. Not the he. Yeah. Oh. She should testimony. Oh, no. Oh. Power testimony. The eyes is shit, that's not really mine, it's Jesus Christ with testimony. He set me free from my Navajo tradition. But the tassels gives a tradition, and I eat the feather, and I should eat the la, don't go corn, and I eat the little. I don't know if it's going to go, and I should eat the la, and I should eat the la. That's how Jesus works. That's his testimony. I say it's his testimony because one time we're sitting in those type of things watching. He says, Hey, son, check what? I don't sing in peyote songs. I don't dance in the yoga chairs. I don't dance in the squad dances. That's how I understood it. I don't do those things, no? And yeah. So your Goliath is still out there for some of you. Tradition. 
flag staff that did deliver in Yagi, a stone of faith in the ah. To take a life which is Zilliki. Traditional eco. She is a free ship in the ah. He's changing the way and send that. And he told us that Jesus Christ says, Do not fear. 41, 10, 11, and 12. In the case of Zimu, Mahashiana, watch over you, Shikna. Oh, what are you? What are you? This is it. I don't do those things, Shikna. Even in the one feather can't fly unless you're under the wings of eagles, like that one verse in the Bible, yeah. You can see everything from you, Nicole. That's my power testimony, Jesus Christ, Nicole. What are you? Johnny, what are you? Abba has been like a eternal one. Only through me will you see the Father. Nia. We, we, still, we still do 50-50. Ashanda, the young God, Jesus, we should be careful. Jesus, power, be careful. One Jesus. One Jesus. Jehovah God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So it is in there. I'm a COVID-19 uh, survivor. Twenty twenty December. Spent eleven days in the uh, Heart River with oxygen. Jesus got the power. Some of those uh, doctors were praying with me. We were praying in there and said, Jesus, repeat the devil spirit of uh, COVID-19. And then one of them came in one, one day and he said, do you want me to pray with you? I said, yeah, okay. So he was doing his easy kind of like prayer with me. I was casting demons and devils out to the pit of hell. COVID-19, watch it, watch it. Jesus, we should have done that. Jesus, we Curses that Eddie, Sam, Chuan, say, Kes, and Chuan, and sit back, Kes, and Chili Tawya Anantle, Shiro Dushmi, the Api, it's their thoughts. I'm not the one that's casting them out. Yeah. Jesus did not reject those people that were in hell. There's those people in hell that rejected Jesus. That's where they are. So that's what Jesus told me through, through this Goliath, through this tradition. I'm set free. I'm washed by the blood of Jesus. That's my Jesus testimony, and he speaks to, to you through that testimony. Shared open hasti. He set me free. I will set you free. Some of you need to be set free. 100%. Not 10, 90, not 80, 20, not 50, 50. 100%. When Jesus was nailed to the cross, he was between heaven and earth. Three feet, six feet off the ground. And he wasn't even in heaven. Yeah? You understand? That's where he was, in the middle of nowhere. For you, 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 you. And there's those rusty nails. But God don't care. That's God. That's not hard to tell them up there. Those nails were just there. His love for you, he stayed on the cross for you. Amen. You understand? Amen. It wasn't the nail, it was you. You were the nails. She brother, but she sister, but he put it back to the last in the sky, and some of the dog, Kahaki, set free in that black, it back to the. Otherwise, he would just walk off. Even the two convicts that were up there with him. If you're a true believer, that man on this side can even go to revivals, can even do churches or whatever, yeah. What did Jesus tell him? By faith, that man says, Remember me. Remember me, Nia. That man spoke by faith. And then Jesus turned and says, Surely you will. By faith. You don't have to preach through all the uh, revivals, the, the, the um, dedications, and the, the baptism. Sinner's prayer, I don't think he would say that. 
All he had was faith for Apache is true hope. F-A-I-T-H-I. Faith for Apache is true hope. So that's how you need to look at it with Jesus Christ. Shihni, shihni, shih. We're all not perfect, I'm not perfect, but that's my one, number one testimony. I am free, I am free. No bird cage from me, no devil cage from me. A lot of people too, Jesus Christ, not cheating the devil of me. It's almost like even with the battle, it's not. Chiri Kodahonna, So don't even compare Chidi to Jesus Christ. He stomped him on his feet. Kutahullah. What Alkhan is not, that's how he delivered me from my tradition. All my brothers and sisters, they're still, even down here, they're still, I know, I see it, I sense it. I know it. I walk among the people. I see it. I know it. But I was a uh, testimony, Jesus Christ, but testimony, by a street of a street of a jail, he sees the name of a lot of Kahanato. A O, their revival. I was revived out of that tradition. That's my revival. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, bless each and every one of you. Be delivered in Jesus' name by the blood. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shout amen tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Man, it's good to be here tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, last night we were in Spencer Valley, New Mexico last night. Amen. Praise the Lord. We were there last night. Amen. And uh, Angel called us. Amen. Last minute notice. Amen. So we left from about 11 in the morning. It only took us about four hour drive up there. After service was over, we got home about three o'clock this morning. It's about two or three and a half hour drive back down this way. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then once we got to the tent, I mean, it was quiet. It was like a funeral service or something. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. But once we got up, amen, they called us up, and boy, they just woke up. <laughs> amen. We told them that we were, amen, and when we were there, man, we told them, we told them that us, the patches, were wild for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. We get crazy for Jesus, huh? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. With our youth pastor, uh, that's when we met uh, Donna Clark. He... We met him in Gallup, hallelujah. Amen. He wanted us to uh, meet him at Danny's, so he, we ate at Danny's, hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I said, don't worry about it. We'll all pray for it. Amen. It's all on me, hallelujah. But we were blessed, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. But once he was telling about when he fell over the platform, I guess he bumped over the guitar amp <laughs> when Angel was still playing. My Lord, it was a strong, powerful service last night. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kathy was dancing. First lady was dancing. My Lord, we had a powerful service last night. Amen. It says we're having a powerful service up there now. We're here. Hallelujah. And how many here to worship God tonight? So praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So to know, to remember, tonight is your night. Hallelujah. It's between you and God tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So also, I want to let you know, amen, uh, uh, today is me and my wife. Our first anniversary is today. Amen. Hallelujah. But keep my wife in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is our first anniversary year. My Lord. Amen. We got married last year in Hawk. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord.
that name. There was salvation in that name. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus.
church, amen, to come fellowship with us, amen, praise God, let's all stand tonight, amen, praise him, amen, to get ready to pick up the offering, amen, we call up our pastor, praise God, in the name of Jesus, Bishop Jonathan Gassion, oh, praise the Lord, amen, hallelujah, we stay up, praise the Lord, how many feel his presence in this place, how many know he's here, how many know the healer is here, the miracle worker, the deliverer, his name is Jesus, hallelujah, praise the Lord, we're going to go and take him an offering, we're going to, amen, praise the Lord, the minister is here already, praise the Lord, amen, let's just lift up our hands, Father, we praise you, we give you glory, we're thankful for to be unto this tent in the name of Jesus, we're thankful that the testimony was shared with us, every song that was sung, Jesus, you you are uplifted. We, we praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor in the name of Jesus. Father, as we go into this part of a service, we ask, Lord God, that you sanctify this part of a service with your spirit, with anointed, as we take up this offering. As your children give tonight, Lord, bless them for their giving. Jesus, we praise you. You get the glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Come out of your seat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the cross, let the cross, where I first saw the light and the burning of my heart goes away. Because there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burning of my heart goes away. It was 
Hallelujah. Let's go to the Lord in prayer for our families. Uh, I know each and every one of us need prayer tonight. Amen. We're in need of something, even a, in a battle today, struggling with something. Praise God. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. And let's lift up uh, uh, White Mountain. Praise God to the north. Praise the Lord. Bilas and uh, praise God, St. Carlos. Praise the Lord. They all need help. Amen. Praise God. We need help. Amen. Uh, uh, praise God. Put your hand on the shoulder of the person standing right next to you and just pray for them. Amen. Praise God. Forget about yourself. Someone sang a song not too long ago. It says, forget about yourself. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we just come before you tonight. As we gather together, Lord God, we are coming into agreement for our beloveds, Father, our friends, family, and relatives. We lift up the person standing right next to us, Father. I don't know what battle they're struggling with. I don't know what, what kind of storm that they're in, circumstances. But Father God, we lift up their needs before you. And I come into agreement with them that they would have their healing, their breakthrough, their blessing, Father God. Lord, we pray for the communities of our native nations here. White River, San Carlos, CBQ, Father God, Bailes. Lord, we come against the spirit of addiction, drug addiction, Father God, suicide. Lord, uh, sexual immorality, Lord Jesus, we lift up our community, break the yoke of bondage, Father God. Uh, Lord, we pray for those uh, that are dealing with so much, Father God, mentally, physically, socially, Lord, maritally, Father, relationally, Father God. Uh, Lord, we bind the spirit, every unfruitful, tormenting spirit uh, that... Uh, Father God comes up against us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We even pray for the unbeliever, Father God. May we live in peace amongst them, our brothers and sisters of other nationalities and ethnicities. We pray for these nations, Lord God, all around us, the Pima Nation, the total Onams, Father God, the Hopis, the Zunis, the Pueblos, the Navajos, the Utes, the Paiutes, Father God, Lord, 
Israel did their part. Israel as a nation, they were a nation of priests, Father God. They offered up sacrifices for 70 known nations in their time, Father. Lord, there's so many uh, nations around us. Uh, the Asians, the Hispanics, Father, the Caucasians, Lord. Uh, Lord, uh, every one of them, we lift them up, Father. May we live in peace with them, Father God. Lord Jesus, uh, they are your children also. God, and we lift up our leaders, Lord God. Lord Jesus, give them wisdom to stand. Give them wisdom to speak for us and our tribes and our, on our behalf, Father God. We lift up this nation in the name of Jesus, Father God, the President, Lord, the leaders of this world. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I just want to do, praise the Lord, a worship song in Navajo. Just worship the Lord with me. Amen. She is the Jesus, hallelujah, praise God, it's good to be here, wow, amen, praise the Lord, we ran into that weather coming down, and praise the Lord, just immediately that 
temperature. I, I was watching the, amen, uh, praise God, the gauge on the truck there. It just dropped all the way to 69, amen. Praise the Lord. From 100, amen, praise God. That's 30 degrees in difference, amen. Wow, amen. Praise God. That cooled me off. <laughs> Praise God, as brother had said, amen. Praise the youth pastor from CBQ, amen. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> We've been having camp meeting out in uh, uh, our home church in Sweetwater. Praise the Lord. We've uh, had some uh, powerful guest speakers throughout, amen. Ended last night with uh, Pastor Chopper, amen. Giving us a powerful word. Glory to God, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I miss those uh, hardcore, amen, tell the truth type of preaching. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I, I desire more. I don't know about you, but I want something that's, amen, praise God. You know, <clears throat> uh, discipline is what I struggle with sometimes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. <clears throat> um, when it comes to exercise, I got to be pushed. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. When it comes to, amen, dieting, I got to be pushed. Praise the Lord. When I was in school, amen, praise God, I had a hard time disciplining myself to, uh, praise the Lord, look into the books and read. I had to be pushed, amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, praise God. I, I kind of feel the same way when it comes to church, amen. Praise the Lord. I, I just don't want some sugar-coated preaching, amen. I want some hardcore stuff, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Chips is not enough. I want some steaks. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Beef jerky ain't just enough. Amen. Praise God. I want some mutton. <laughs> praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But uh, praise God. We need to. Amen. It, you know, there's a um, there's an attack on our nation, our family, our identity. Amen. Praise the Lord. We keep saying this. Amen. We keep saying this. But in the book of James, it says, Do not just be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. Amen. We have a lot of people who, who say, I just want to go over there and you want to hear it, but you're not listening. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> we got to get to that point where we need discipline to apply the word. Amen. Apply the word. Praise God. <clears throat> From the book of uh, Galatians and chapter 3. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, I just want to encourage you tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, to read the word. To study the word. Amen. You know, some somebody said, praise God. When I study the word, I have 30 different Bibles. 30 different translations. Amen. Praise God. And on top of the, the, the different translations of the Word of God, 30 different Bibles, plus that on top of that, I need a, amen, a thesaurus, a concordance. Amen. Praise God. A dictionary. Praise the Lord. Uh, and someone said, that's how I study. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's good. I'm not against it. I have uh, four Bibles right here in this one book that I have. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God, I got the um, New International Version, King James, the New American Standard, and the Amplified, all in this one book here. Amen, praise the Lord. The Word says to study the Word, to show thyself approved unto God. Amen, a workman, right? Amen. Praise the Lord, who is not ashamed, praise the Lord, to uh, uh, divide and, uh, amen, the Word of God, to study it. And uh, praise God, I was uh, thinking about that. Amen. Do I need 30 different Bibles? Do I need a thesaurus, a concordance? Do I need all this stuff? And many of us in here and out there, we make an excuse. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> uh, we, we say, I don't have the finances. I need all that stuff. I don't know where to get them. Amen. According to the Bible that you're holding, amen, it's pretty simple when you study the Word. Praise God. Number one. Praise the Lord. Take notes here. Amen. Number one. Praise God. Read. <laughs> That's not very difficult, is it? Amen. Read, 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 read. Read it again. Amen. When you're done reading, read it again. Amen. Number two. Meditate. Praise God. Meditate. 
There's no word for meditation in Navajo. So somebody came up with this, amen, praise God. Chew the cud, amen. Chew the cud. Praise the Lord, praise God. Growing up, uh, we had sheep and we had goats. And uh, when we went to the corral, we, see, we saw the, the sheep in there. Amen, praise God. You, you, you would see the jaw of that sheep just going right, amen. And praise God, you go over there and try to, uh, praise God, find out what is in the mouth of that sheep. You catch it, you open its mouth, there'll be nothing in there. Amen, praise God. There'll be nothing in there. So you just let it loose again and you look over again and the, there he goes again. Amen. Chewing the cud. Praise the Lord. That's what needs to happen. That's meditation right there. When you hear it, praise the Lord. Don't just forget it. Amen. You meditate. You praise God. Bring it back up. You chew it again. Amen. You swallow it. You chew it again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't have a word for meditation in Navajo. So that's what we tell the people out there. Amen. Praise God. You need to chew the cud. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's number two. Amen. Number three. Praise God. Number three. Memorize. Amen. Memorize. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, out in uh, China, praise God, there's a lot of persecution there. So, amen. Uh, 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 people out there, they have the book of John. And while they have the book of John, they read it, they meditate on it, they memorize it. Amen, praise God, because there's not a whole lot of Bibles out there. And if you're caught with one, amen, you could die or you could go to jail. So what they do is, amen, praise God, they, they have to discipline themselves to read it, memorize it, and meditate on it. Praise the Lord. You have only a short window of time to do that, and you have to pass it on to the next person. Amen, praise God. And that's what they're doing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And praise God. Number four is you pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. In there, it doesn't say about 30 different Bibles, 30 different translations. Amen. That's how simple it is. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> so I want to encourage you, amen, to study the word like that. Because, amen, from what I'm hearing, uh, there's a thing called, uh, 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 praise God, AI, artificial intelligence. Amen. And this thing is one to rewrite the Bible. Praise the Lord. This thing is one to rewrite the Bible and take out what offends people. And the number one thing that offends people today is the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, the artificial intelligence wants to rewrite the Bible and take out anything that offends people. Amen. Praise God. And in its uh, eyes and in its understanding if it does that praise the Lord all these different religions can be unified amen and that's in time prophecies right there praise the Lord one world government and one world religion amen praise the Lord there's a, <clears throat> a great deception right now in the praise the Lord uh, amongst us praise God you have to be serious amen Praise the Lord. Reading the Bible twice in Navajo from cover to cover in one year. Amen. Changed me. Changed the way I was thinking. Changed the way. Amen. Praise God. I taught. Changed my attitude. Changed my worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. I was the type of preacher. Amen. Praise the Lord. That would come up here and say, ha! And jump off the platform. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. The way I worship, the way I present the gospel has changed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want the word to affect us in that manner. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And it's happening right now. A lot of deception. Praise God. And we have to open up our eyes. We have to uh, read the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, praise God. The devil, you know what he's doing? He mimics the things of God. The devil, amen, he can mimic the things of God. There could be a person possessed by the devil and they can, uh, praise God, speak in tongues. They can prophesy. You have to be careful. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. The word is what gives us discernment to know these things. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise God. And, and uh, um, <clears throat> praise God. Uh, the, 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 the thing that, uh, amen, praise God, bugs me the most is, uh, amen, that we don't read the word. Amen. We need to familiarize ourselves so we can know the truth. Amen. And it's the truth. Praise the Lord will set us free. That's what it says, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. In the book of Galatians and chapter 3, verse 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> you know, uh, right now, amen. Uh, just what I mentioned, there was uh, a prophecy that was told, amen, about uh, uh, <clears throat> the devil speaking through, amen, a person. Praise the Lord. The spirit has no dominion, amen, here on earth. Praise God, you and I, God's created, you and I, we have dominion here. Praise the Lord, the devil does not have power, amen, he has a lie, that's all he has, that's his greatest weapon right there, is a lie, amen, and he needs a body, praise the Lord, that's why uh, uh, on the Isle of Gennesaret, when, amen, uh, the legion was being cast out of this person, amen, praise the Lord, what happened says, amen, praise God, we want to, amen, to go into the uh, herd of swine, amen, they wanted to jump in there, amen, the spirit needs a body, amen, praise the Lord, other than that, praise God, it's powerless, you and I, praise God, we're given dominion here on earth, and the Spirit, praise the Lord, possessed a person, and this person prophesied by the Spirit of Beelzebub, amen, and says, uh, praise the Lord, I have done most of what I need to do, amen. Praise the Lord, I have caused men to act like women, and women to dress like men, amen, praise God. That's, that was my goal, I got that accomplished. My next goal is, uh, amen, praise God, <clears throat> to, pedof uh, to, to bring about pedophilia, amen, so adults can have uh, sexual relations with children, amen. Uh, he says, it can be done, but it's going to take time because first I've got to desensitize them. That's what he says, amen. And that's exactly what happened, praise the Lord, praise God. Now the LGBT, they came in and a lot of us didn't say anything. We knew it was wrong, but we didn't say nothing, amen. Because we were desensitized, amen, years ago. Look back, amen. There was a man, praise God, he dressed up as a woman, praise the Lord. In the movie, praise God, Mrs. Doubtfire, right? Praise the Lord, praise God. It's comical, it's comical, amen, praise the Lord. And we justified his actions when he dressed up as that woman. Praise the Lord, he says, oh, this man, I, I, I have pity for him, uh, amen. I have compassion toward him because uh, his home is being broken apart, amen. His children is being taken away. He has to do what he has to do, amen, to, if, it's gonna, if he's gonna have to dress up as a woman to see his kids, Amen. We say, oh, it's just the Bible. It's okay. Amen. And then a next person comes along and praise God, we have Medea. Amen. We have Medea that comes along. Same thing. It's very comical. Amen. Praise God. And uh, there's some serious moments in there where, uh, praise God, Medea will lecture and preach and incorporate scriptures in there. Amen. Praise God. See, you're being desensitized. Amen. Amen. You're being desensitized. Amen. And when it all came in, you, ha you didn't have a problem with it. It's just funny. It's, it's not a big thing. Amen. Praise God. We have compromised. We have settled for less. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All these things. Uh, what is happening up here? Uh, praise God. Uh, praise the Lord. We have defiled the altar. We have defiled the, amen, the, the sacred death of God. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, there's so many things that is happening. Praise God. And we allow it. Amen. You know it's wrong. We know it's wrong. But nobody's saying anything. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Praise God. And when you show up to stuff like that, amen, you're approving of their actions. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You should be sitting uh, in your church under your pastor. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, they're bringing in all these things. Uh, praise the Lord. Into Disney. Amen. Into cartoons. Uh, amen. Praise God. They're uh, uh, writing books and putting them into libraries and schools. Uh, amen. Praise God. The next thing you know. Amen. Praise God. You're going to say, it's okay. Praise God. First, amen. Praise God. You can't touch babies and kids. Uh, that's wrong. Amen. Praise God. You got to be careful. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This this is a spiritual battle that we're in. Amen. For too long, praise God, you've been playing with church. Amen. You, you made this to be a playground. It's not a playground. It's a battlefield. Amen. We're warring up against not men, but the Bible says uh, we fight not against flesh and blood, but of uh, amen, principalities and powers. Uh, amen. Our wickedness of darkness. That's what we're battling up against. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it says there, praise God. Uh, verse 1. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1. It says, You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Amen. Praise God. Look at that person next to you. Amen. Praise God. Who gushed you? But not, amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. You don't know it, but you've been gushy. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, and uh, praise the Lord. God. The Spirit of the Lord is here. God is here to take whatever that thing is out of you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Women, praise God. Amen. Now, old nation, amen. They give $100 hickeys. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> when somebody gets gushy, we're not going to charge you nothing. God's going to do the work. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I always tell the Navajo Nation over there, you you, you talk about the, the medicine man giving $100 hickeys. Amen. Praise God. You guys do it up here on the platform these days too. Right after you dismiss, you're out behind these trucks, behind the tent giving hickeys too. Amen. <laughs> Don't be talking about the traditionalists. Amen. Praise God. Look at yourself. Amen. We shouldn't be doing this, amen, at a revival, at a tent meeting, at a camp meeting, amen, praise God. We should be the light, amen, in a dark world, amen. Praise the Lord. You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly, amen, portrayed as crucified, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Let me read this in the Amplified. Oh, you foolish and thoughtless and superficial Galatians, who has bewitched you that you would act like this to whom, amen, right before your very eyes, Jesus was publicly portrayed as crucified in the gospel message. Amen. What is it saying? Amen. Praise the Lord. When it's talking like that, you know what it's saying? Who has caused you to fall away? Amen. Who has caused you, praise God, to stop what you are doing? Amen. That's what it means, praise God. Praise the Lord. In your mind, amen, praise God, you got a, a, an arrowhead coming towards you. Amen. Ah, oh, they gushed me. Amen. It has nothing to do with an arrowhead. It has nothing to do with a porcupine quill. It has nothing to do with a rock. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. These are words. Amen. Thoughts. Thoughtless words. Amen. Doctrines. These things and teachings. That's what it's talking about. Praise the Lord. What caused you to step away? What caused you to forfeit, to give up, amen, just to put aside what caused you, amen? See, praise the Lord. Now think about it. Yes, you've been gushy, amen. You don't pray no more. You've been gushy. 
Amen. You don't sing no more. You step back. You took a seat back. You go. Amen. Praise God. Ended out. Praise the Lord. In the world. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You were doing so good. Amen. You were disciplining yourself. Amen. Praise God. You were prospering in every way in the things of God. And all of a sudden, you took a step back. You've been bewitched. Amen. Who did this to you? Amen. Who did this to you? Who said these things to you that caused you to sit down? Amen. Praise God. And not praise the Lord like you used to. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Where are the musicians? Where are the choirs? Where is the help? What happened to the cooks? Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. What happened to the... Amen. Praise God. Uh, the people that used to do all all these things. I'm not just talking about Seneca. I'm talking about in your life, in your home church. Amen. Praise the Lord. What happened to you? Amen. Oh foolish Apaches. Amen. Who bewitched you? Amen. Don't point fingers at the Navajos now. <laughs> Amen. Don't point fingers at your next door neighbor. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. You know, praise the Lord. You allowed it. Amen. You allowed it when you put up that pot of coffee and says, Amen. Give me all the hot gossip today. Who's doing what? Amen. Now, praise God, you're discouraged. Uh, I knew pastor was, uh, amen, praise God. I knew I had a suspicion that something, my intuition, I just had, uh, praise God. Uh, all of a sudden, he has a new truck. Uh, amen. It's our tithing. It's our giving. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Uh, praise God. I think they're splitting all that money because co-pastor, amen, has got a new pair of, uh, amen, alligator boots. Amen. <laughs> There's factions in the church, right? Amen. Factions. Uh, you got the gossip corner, the amen corner over here. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you got a bunch of critics over here criticizing pastor and another group over here following co-pastor. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you allow these things, uh, amen, into your ears, into your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, praise God. Uh, you allowed it. Uh, amen. You've been bewitched. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? Why did it happen that way? Because this word says, because you're foolish. Amen. It's not because they're foolish or they're foolish. No, you're the one that's foolish. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, foolish. Amen. Galatians. Who has bewitched you? Praise the Lord. Thoughtless and superficial Galatians. Amen. Praise God. Thoughtless and superficial. Praise God. Navajos. Foolish, thoughtless and superficial. Amen. Apaches. Amen. That's what it's saying. Praise the Lord. What has caused you to step away from the love of God? What has caused you, amen, to step away from your calling? Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go over and uh, go to the sixth chapter of Galatians. Just turn several pages over. Amen. Praise God. And uh, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse. And see what this verse says. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. Amen. Let us not be weary in doing well. Amen. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Neither. Amen. Let us not grow weary. Amen. Or become discouraged in doing good. For at the proper time we will reap if we do not give in. Amen. This is a huge encouragement. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. The Galatians, if you were to read the whole book, amen, something was going on. Praise God. Read it in context. Read it with understanding. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. They were doing so well and something happened that caused them to back away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. 
we read of a story just similar to this, amen, in the book of Nehemiah, amen, praise God, when Nehemiah approached the king, amen, to go to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, amen. Praise the Lord, praise God. The people at the first were zealous. They were on fire. They were passionate about, amen, praise God, protecting their community, protecting their children, protecting the elderly. Amen, praise God. They were so on fire. Amen, they, praise God, they were moved with compassion. Praise God, praise the Lord. They knew if, if the walls were not rebuilt, the enemy would come come in, amen, and kill and steal and destroy. So they came together and they began to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. They were doing so well until a king by the name of Sam Ballot came and, praise God, threatened the people. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Trying to discourage them. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm, I'm coming. You just wait. Amen. Praise the Lord. And began to, uh, uh, praise God, to say things that would bring fear into them and cause them to be discouraged and give up. Praise the Lord. Sam Ballot didn't have a mighty army. Praise the Lord. All he had was a lie. And he says, me and my army are coming at you. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to tear down what you have built. Amen. Praise God. And you know, Sam Ballot, what he did, he went around the Israelites and began to start rumors. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jine, jine. How do you say that in Apache? Amen. Huh? Jindin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's what happens in our community, in our churches. Uh, some one person in our congregations, uh, one person in our community starts going around to different people's houses. Uh, amen. Don't you know that's what happening over there? Amen. Praise God. It goes to another house. Uh, amen. Setting things on fire. Right? Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's still happening today. The spirit of Sam Ballot is out there, amen. Putting fear in people, amen. Starting up rumors and uh, slandering names uh, of leaders, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God. And the people, they grew weary, praise God. They said, we can't build, amen, praise God. Uh, praise the Lord, because uh, Sam Ballot is coming with his army. And praise the Lord, uh, we don't even have a weapon in hand. We could get killed, We're, well, praise God, for our safety. I think we should just stop the job, is what they were saying, amen. Praise the Lord. And on top of that, praise God. They said, uh, amen, praise the Lord. We have too much trash. We have too much rubble and debris. Amen, praise the Lord. Praise God. But Nehemiah came in and says, okay, amen, praise God. All the people are discouraged. I want everybody to come down. Amen. All the supervisors, all the foremen, superintendents, all the watchmen. Amen, praise God. Women, children, everybody. I need you to come down. I don't care about your titles. Amen. Praise God. Let's come to common ground. Amen. Praise the Lord. So they came down, everybody, and he encouraged them. And he said, Amen. Praise God. First of all, let's dispose of all the trash. Let's take all the rubble away. Amen. Praise God. And if you're fearful, here is, a, amen, a weapon, a dagger, a knife, amen, a sword, a sword spear, praise God, a javelin, amen, and everybody had a weapon in hand, the women had a, a dagger, a knife, a, a sword in one hand, and they were kneading dough, amen, mothers were praise, nursing their young, and they had a weapon in one hand, the men were out there, praise God, mixing clay and mud and mortar, praise the Lord, with one hand free, and the other one with a weapon, amen, praise the Lord, and they built Praise God. They built, praise the Lord, and praise God, they had a great revival. Amen. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happens. Amen. It happens. People grow weary. Praise God. Hallelujah. They take a step back. Amen. Praise the Lord. And most of us today, we've been bewitched. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, someone, something has caused you to take a step back. Instead of growing even more closer to God, you grew weary. That's the wording I find right there. You grow in the Lord, but you can also grow weary too. Amen. It starts small. Amen. Praise God. And it grows on you. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's, a, there's another story that comes to mind when I talk about this. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, there's, there's a reference to this uh, passage of scripture in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 37. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it talks about living in the last days. Living in the last days, amen, praise God, uh, praise the Lord. In Noah's day, it, uh, praise the Lord, refers back into the Old Testament. When we are getting closer to the, the last uh, uh, days, amen, it'll be like the days of Noah, amen. And Noah, praise God, he was a righteous man, praise the Lord. He walked with God and one day he stood before his own community, his own people and said, God spoke to me, amen. And everybody knew, praise the Lord, Noah's reputation. And everybody, when Noah spoke up, praise God, they heeded unto the voice of Noah and they listened. Amen. Praise God. We know Noah to be a good man, a righteous man. Let him speak. Hush, everybody. Let's listen to what he has to say. Amen. And Noah, when he spoke up, he says, uh, Amen, God spoke to me and says, uh, Amen, uh, my judgment is coming. Amen, there's sin, there's too much sin all over the land. Amen, praise God. Praise the Lord. And he's angry. He's also saddened by this, uh, praise God, wickedness all over the land. And he's going to come with his judgment. He's going to destroy. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God says, uh, I will rescue. Amen. I will have grace. Praise the Lord. There's a time and a span, a season where, praise God, I'll allow people to make that decision. Praise the Lord. But I need you to build an uh, ark, a big boat is what I need you to build. It's what God said to me. Amen. And everybody heeded unto the voice of Noah. Praise God. And they said, let's go. Amen. Somebody says, okay, Noah, I'm with you. Amen. I'm with you. I got a box of nails in my shed if you need them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody says, I got some boards, uh, praise God, in my uh, back uh, uh, yard that I can give to you. Amen. Somebody says, I got a bucket of pitch. If you're going to uh, put pitch on the boat, I got a bucket of it at the house. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody says, I'll make tortilla. I'll make jello. I'll make Kool-Aid. Amen. Praise God. Somebody says, I got a cow that we can butcher. Amen. Everybody joined in. Amen. Praise God. Everybody was passionate. They were zealous. They were on fire. Let's get this thing done. We don't, uh, amen, want to lose our life. Praise God. They all came together. The whole community. Amen. That's exactly how it started. Right? Amen. And we look back to the days of A.A. A. Allen. We look back to the days of Samuel Harris. We look back into those days, amen, praise the Lord, of how the church was. Amen. The choirs that were there, amen. The tent meetings were packed. I came here, amen, praise God. I believe it was in the late 90s when, uh, amen, praise God, uh, R. Sh w. Shambach had his tent right here, right? Praise the Lord, hallelujah, powerful services, amen, praise God, I observed, amen, praise the Lord, the tent, oh, the splendor of that tent, how huge it was, praise God, amen, they didn't have a, a ratchet straps like that, I remember they had cables, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was so in awe looking at because I was a, a tent boy for many, many years. Uh, I, I put my ear to one of those cables and man, flicked it like that. I could hear it all over the tent. Amen. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We look back. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody was helping. Everybody was on fire. Amen. We didn't have to wait for nobody. There was a line here for testimonies. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise God. We weren't waiting for people to show up. And they were already there an hour. Amen. Praise God. Before service. Amen. Praise the Lord. At noon day, they were driving in. Praise God. They had little campfires here and there. Amen. Praise God. They were making tortillas. Amen. Grilling some steaks, waiting for the service to begin. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. We weren't pu The leaders weren't pushing the people. The people were pushing the leaders. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Service starts at 6, but they're like, come on. Amen. Praise God. Uh, just it's, it's just 30 minutes away. Why not start it now? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Noah's day, that's how it was. Praise God. People were so on fire for God. Amen. And uh, I don't know what, but praise the Lord. Praise God. What caused them, but uh, they begin to drift away slowly, slowly. Amen. Praise the Lord. A family would say after 10 years, uh, Amen. We live in a desert. Amen. We live out here where there's nothing. Amen. Praise God. And you expect a flood. Why? Why in the world would you build a big boat like this? Uh, amen. The ocean is in that direction and it's that hundreds of miles away. Amen. Even if there was a tsunami, amen, praise God, that water wouldn't even reach up here. Amen, praise God. We're way up here. Praise God. They began to doubt. Amen, praise the Lord. They lost patience. Amen. One by one, family after another, they started leaving. Amen, praise God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. But Noah, amen, but Noah stood his ground. Amen, praise the Lord. I'm sure there were people telling him, amen, just give up. Amen, praise the Lord. Just give up, Noah. Just like Job's wife said, just give up, just give up and die. Praise the Lord, but Noah stood his ground. Amen. Praise God, hallelujah. He wouldn't let anything detour him from the things of God. He had a special relationship with God. He had faith, amen. I'm sure there were days where it was tough. I'm sure there were days when he felt like giving up himself. Amen, praise God. Well, praise the Lord, especially when those people begin to mock him. Amen, praise God. There's something wrong with Noah. I think he needs sunscreen, a bigger hat. Give him some air conditioning. Conditioning. Amen. Praise the Lord. I think that heat is getting to him. He's hallucinating. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Just like today, I was almost hallucinating. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. After being, amen, uh, praise God, preparing for the camp meeting and during the camp meeting, working in these hot weather conditions, amen, praise the Lord, for two straight weeks, uh, praise the Lord, I have, I've been sleep deprived, amen, praise the Lord, it was getting to me, coming down, amen. I think I had to stop, praise God, four times to take a nap, amen. <laughs> praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God. Amen. Is it that I'm tired or is it that I'm getting older? I said, Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Coffee ain't helping. Amen. Snacking ain't helping. Nothing. Amen. That wouldn't help. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Year after year. Just imagine the struggle. Just imagine. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't know suffering. Amen. Praise God. You haven't been persecuted, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. These men, praise God, they knew uh, uh, persecution. Somebody would uh, hit them with a stick or a rock. They'd be thrown in jail. Amen. For the gospel. We don't know any of that. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody would come up here, oh, today was a big struggle, it was a battle, but that devil, I defeated him. Amen, praise God. He's 
this person's not really telling you the whole story. The struggle that she went through was at Burger King. Amen. Praise God. She ordered minus the pickles and they put pickles on there. That's the biggest struggle they have. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But we are living in the last days. Amen. Just like in Noah's day. Amen. Praise God. There's so many things going on. Amen. Praise God. We, uh, amen. Paul, as I read about Paul. Amen. Praise God. I wanted to minister this tomorrow night. But uh, amen. Paul. Amen. Paul walked by faith and not by sight. Uh, Paul, when he saw something, he looked at it spiritually. Amen. Praise God. There's a story in the book of Acts where, amen, he came into the community the city of Athens. Amen. Praise God. Where all these philosophers and poets, amen, praise God, gathered together. Praise the Lord. These buildings were magnificent. Amen. Praise the Lord. When he walked into Athens and looked at that place, amen, praise the Lord. Praise God. He didn't say, wow. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know what he said? He said, whoa. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor Timmy came to uh, Sweetwater one year and we followed him back down to his church and he told a story and he says, I went to Sweetwater where the Taylor Brothers church is at. He says, there's nothing. He's telling the people, there's nothing out there. No stores, no highways, no Walmart, no motels, nothing. They don't even have sin, he says. Amen. <laughs> I wish that was true. On the outside, that's what it looks like. But if you were to look at the spiritual side, you would see the ugliness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You drive through these uh, beautiful mountainous roads down through here. Amen. Praise God. Into these communities, uh, White River and San Carlos. Uh, you see all these uh, people. Amen. Praise God. The way they live. Wow. Wow. Amen. Praise God. Uh, if you had your eyes peeled off and you were to see spiritually, you would see the ugliness of addiction and sexual immorality and sin. Amen. And in Sweetwater, where uh, uh, Pastor Timmy had claimed that there was no sin, amen, we have meth houses, uh, amen, women are missing, young boys have gone missing, amen, praise the Lord, murder, praise God, uh, that, that's how Sweetwater is, killings, uh, amen, praise God. We're living in that day that the Bible was talking about. Uh, amen. Open up your eyes to see these things uh, and have a concern for it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can't just back away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You can't just back away from your calling because of rumors. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Somebody gave an example about a gym. Amen. Praise God. And praise the Lord. It says, uh, uh, praise God. I, I want to go to the gym and uh, lose weight and build up muscles. But uh, amen. I can't go over there because there's people in there that are out of shape. <laughs> That's how we treat church these days, right? Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't want to go to church over there because there's a bunch of sinners. Uh, but the, I'm sorry to tell you this, but uh, the church is for sinners. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I preach a message about how, amen, praise God, we have a different set of rules and, amen, stuff for the platform. But back there, amen, praise God, we invite everybody, amen. We invite the sinners, amen, praise the Lord. That's what the debate was about Paul, amen, and Peter and James, praise the Lord. When, praise God, one day they were talking to the Gentiles and, praise God, they said that when you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are saved. Amen. Some religious leader came up and says, Ho! Wait! Don't be preaching the word like that. Amen. 
Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You're making it too simple for them. Amen. Praise God. These Gentiles, uh, they need to be, praise God, uh, circumcised. And they need to obey the law. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And, and James and Paul and Peter and Silas and all these men, they went up to Jerusalem and praise God, they had a big old meeting and came back. Praise God. Then they said, this is what the re resolution is going to be. This is going to be the solution. Amen. To the Gentiles, uh, we cannot push circumcision on them. We cannot, uh, amen, praise God, uh, put a burden of the law on them. They don't know the Bible. They don't know scripture. Amen. Why, praise God, push something that is so heavy on you, on people, that, that that's not fair. You can't even bear it. Uh, your ancestors, your forefathers, they couldn't obey all the laws, uh, all the commandments. Uh, why do you want them to be, uh, amen, uh, uh, praise God, to put that burden on them? And James says, leave them alone. Amen, praise God. Praise the Lord. And that message right there, praise God, they began to preach from community to community. Amen. They weren't preaching, praise God, the commandments. Uh, they were preaching faith in Jesus Christ is what saved them. And when they began to preach that, the church grew mightily. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We need to have a concern for the unbeliever. Amen. Praise God. Stop pushing religion on them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. All we can do is point the way. Amen. Praise the Lord. We can't force it on them. We can't police them. Amen. Praise God. One day, this is what I said to my church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. If you want to go out there, you want to go dance in those dance halls. If you want to go out there and uh, uh, go clubbing, go ahead. Come in Sunday morning with a bunch of hickeys and walk like you just went in a rodeo. Amen. That's up to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, you keep living that lifestyle, you're going to end up in jail. You're going to end up in a hospital. You're going to end up dead and in hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you want to live that life, go ahead. I don't know, praise God, about us natives. Amen. You tell them not to do it, they do it. You tell them, amen, to do it and they won't do it. Just like the gossipers, right? Amen, praise God. I'm telling you a secret. Don't tell nobody, okay? And they go to the next house. Amen, I got a prayer request. That's what you call it, amen. Amen, praise God. I think those, amen, Israelites are part Navajo, or they may be even Navajo, because Jesus told them, amen, praise God, don't tell nobody. But they still spread the news anyway, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. All these years, amen, I think I've been preaching wrong, is what I told the church. I've been telling you, no, 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 don't do it. Maybe I, I should just, amen, use reverse psychology and tell you to do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> amen, praise God. Praise the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. We have to know the Bible, have a, a true understanding. Amen, praise God. Right now, we're pushing out the young people. I told the church, amen, praise God, if a drunk comes into the church, don't throw them out. If they come Sunday after Sunday with a whiskey in their boot, amen, let them come. If they got a can of skull in their back pocket, amen, praise God, let them come. Amen, if they got ripped jeans and blue and yellow and pink hair, let them come, amen. 
Praise the Lord. Don't try to change them. Amen. True change comes through the word. Amen. Praise God. If you just love them and teach them these things. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's where true change comes from. Amen. Yeah. You praise God. You only deal with the exterior or the outside. Amen. Praise God. We can take a person and try to intervene. Praise the Lord. And counsel them. And praise God. At some point we're going to lose, uh, uh, praise God, our patience. And we'll say, mm, grab them by the neck and say, just stop drinking. What's wrong with you? They may be shooken up for a little while and say, okay, I'll stop drinking. You let them go, they walk away. I need a drink. You see, you're only dealing with the exterior. You can point a gun at a person's head and a knife and tell them not to do something. They'll agree with you, but they'll go back to it. Because you're not getting to their heart. Past that exterior. Amen. God's word is powerful. So sharp is sharper than the two-edged sword. It goes past the exterior into the heart, into the mind, to the very intent of a person. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do not grow weary in doing good is what I'm trying to tell you. Amen. We have a ministry, praise God. It starts in your home. It starts in your community. Amen, praise the Lord. Praise God. Some of us, we want to go, amen, praise God. Pass, uh, amen, the, the Salt River, praise the Lord. I'm San Carlos. I'm going to minister to the White Mountain Apaches. I'm going to go past that to the Yotaha. Amen. One one time a pastor was saying that, says, uh, Amen, praise God. I'm tired of trying to get to people and preaching and teaching. Uh, yeah, praise God. Uh, amen, praise the Lord. Lord, I'm tired of these people. They just don't respect me. They, they just don't want to hear me. Amen, praise God. Send me somewhere. Send me to Africa. And the Holy Spirit says, Amen, praise God. Get up. Go to your window. He gets up, goes to his window, opens his curtain. Amen, praise God. What, Lord? Now, there's nothing out there except my neighbor. He's out there mowing his lawn, his shirtless and all this. He's just that black guy next door, man. And God says, there's your Africa. <laughs> you want to go somewhere, amen. Start with your neighbor. Start with your children. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Come back. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Do not grow weary in doing good. There is a reward. Amen. There is a reward. Praise God. How did God has that reward? Amen. Praise the Lord. I bet you. Praise God. When, amen. Praise the Lord. Noah, uh, praise God. Uh, 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 his boat set in that one place in one day. Praise the Lord. He's just waiting for God to say, uh, uh, for God to open that door. Amen. He was just anxious. Amen waiting for that day praise God and that door began to open up amen the light came shining and he steps out amen. amen praise the Lord hallelujah praise God and his family his wife his children they they walk up beside him and they're standing there amen the warmth of the sun just hitting their faces I bet you Noah said it was all worth it. Amen. It was all worth it. Praise God. Persecution. I stood my ground. It is all worth it. My wife is here. My son is here. My daughters are here. It is all worth it. Amen. Praise God. If you hold on to what God had given to you, if you don't grow weary in doing good, if you keep holding on to the teaching like Timothy was instructed. Amen. Praise God. If you keep holding on to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. One day. Praise the Lord. Praise God. He's going to split open that eastern sky. Amen. He's going to say good and faithful servant. Come into thy rest.
rest. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then you're going to say it was all worth it. Amen. It was all worth it. When I didn't have money, when I didn't have food, it was all worth it. When they mocked me, when they ridiculed me, it was all worth it. Praise God. Today, I have my reward. Amen. Praise God. I have my children with me. Thank God. It was all worth it to withstand the pressures of life. They have told me to give up, but I stood my ground. They told me to walk away, but I stood my ground. It was all worth it. Amen. Don't give up in doing good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. It'll be all worth it. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's my message to you tonight. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> we all go through this. Even pastor. Even me. Amen. Praise God. If pastor and I can do it, you can do it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't think, praise God, having a big ministry and having a big tent and singing and playing. Praise God. Bringing crowds is, is going to, praise God, cause you to enter into heaven. No. Amen. It's faith in Jesus Christ. I remember the story about the Syrophoenician woman. Amen. Christ commended her for not giving up. Amen. Jesus turned to that woman. Amen. Praise God. This woman says, Lord, help me. Have mercy. My daughter is vexed with an illness. Help. Jesus didn't say a word. And then next the disciple says, she's annoying. Chase her away. And the next thing, she was called a dog, right? She went through all that, but she didn't give up. She persevered. And Jesus turned to her and says, I have never seen such great faith. Amen, praise God. There's great faith out there. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> great faith is not having a huge tent. Because some people who had big ministries failed. Amen. There were people who sang their hearts out that failed. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. This woman didn't have a big ministry. Jesus didn't turn to those apostles and say, Man, you have big faith. What did he say to Peter? Satan. <laughs> Call them Satan. Get behind me. Even though Peter's big to us today, but back then, amen, praise God. Praise the Lord. Jesus called them Satan. Amen. Get behind me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm challenging you today. Amen. Praise the Lord to pick up that trowel, to pick up that plow. Amen, praise God, and begin to work again for Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise God, we need you, amen. We need you. The church needs you. Don't ever make little of yourself, amen, praise God. I'm not acknowledged, I'm not, no, nobody's giving me the pat on the back, no, amen. The church wouldn't be what it is today with regular people like you and I, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Philip didn't have a great ministry. God used him. He was a custodian. Amen. Stephen was just a servant serving elderly. Amen. Praise God. Dorcas. Praise the Lord. Ananias. Praise God. Jason. These men and women, you don't hear about them in sermons, but... These men and women, praise the Lord, because of them, the church is what it is today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's me. If, you, if this message was for you, amen. 
come stand before God amen he's not going to push you away praise the Lord he's not going to say you're not worthy men may say that to you but no you work for God not man praise the Lord hallelujah praise God some people they get hurt because just little stuff leave that stuff alone amen just let it be praise God serve God praise the Lord maybe there's a Sunday school teacher that left the ministry that is here amen praise God if it's your heart you're supposed to be there Amen. Praise the Lord. Some people, they see ministry as just a job, a duty. If you see it that way, you're not supposed to be in there. Amen. You're not supposed to be preaching. You're not supposed to be pastoring. Amen. Praise God. If all that motivates you is crowds and money and popularity, that's not your calling. You don't need to be there. Amen. There's a people in there that have a heart to serve. Amen. That's all you think about. That's all you think about. Talk about. That's your calling. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Even when there is no revival, when people push you away. Amen. You're way out there in your house and all you can think about is, Amen. Praise God. I wonder if they did this right. I'm the tent man. I'm the, uh, the person out there. Uh, I hope they do it right. I hope they uh, secured the tent. Amen. Praise God. If that's all you think about, if that's all you talk about, that is your calling, amen. If all you think about is music, drumming, amen, praise the Lord, that's your calling. What are you doing back there, amen? Praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, amen. I'm going to sing one of my favorite songs that has brought me through many storms, amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. As I sing this, praise God, if that's you, just come here, yeah. amen. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, and let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, I am old.
you're 100% healthy, you can stay in proxy for your unsaved loved one. Maybe there's a relative, maybe there's an aunt, uncle, grandparents, there's a little friend. Stand for them. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I think I shall come. I'll sing a song of Christ here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. How many enjoy the message tonight? You know, I always tell the congregation, uh, the Word of God is like a mirror. Amen. You see yourself. How many saw yourself in the message tonight? Praise the Lord. That's good. Amen. If you see yourself, praise the Lord. Amen. That's good. If you don't see yourself, praise the Lord, there's something wrong. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. There, there, somebody has bewitched you. Amen. <laughs> Let's all stand. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Uh, there's a flyer here, North Fork Miracle Church, 14 Annual Camp Meeting, August 6th, all the way to 20, amen, 2023, praise the Lord, thank you Jesus, August 19, Saturday, dinner at 2 p.m., Baptis baptismal, because of that 11 a.m., amen, praise the Lord, thank you Jesus, let's just lift up a hand, Father, we praise you, we give you glory, we give you honor in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you for the message that was brought out. Jesus, help us to apply this these, this message that was brought out to our lives, to our, to, to our walk in the name of Jesus. God, we just praise you tonight. We ask, Lord God, as we lift up our hand, as we come to agreement, we, we continue to pray for uh, Ramsey, for the order of Ramsey, wherever he traveled, wherever he ministered, God, that you supply his every need, that you use him mightily in these last days. Jesus, we praise you, the Lord God, as we go separate ways. Be with us, those that be traveling on the, on the road. Give them travel and grace. In the name of Jesus, God, we just put everything to your hand. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor uh, Ramson is going to be with us again tomorrow. Praise the Lord. 7.30. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Just Amen. Uh, share your testimony, your song. Praise the Lord. Tell whatever the Lord lays on your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you.